nice title. Just a cash drink of water. <laughs> oh my god, flip that weave. <laughs> And what yeah. is the film's title? Oh, um, it's 26. Uh, was it 26? 26. Uh, 26. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. Cornucopia? <laughs> Wasn't it? No, that was, a, that was a production thing. I can't remember. 26. <laughs> what genre do you think it is? Action, maybe a bit of adventure. Like, action? Action. Um, like sort of action spy kind of thing. Action slash comedy. Uh, thriller, something like that. Thriller, crime. What made you think that? Um, it was very fast paced, like fast music, and the actors were pretty hot. <laughs> like when she hit him with the gun and the gun and fists up in the face. Um, because it had action in music. Um, the music and the violence and like the sneakiness. <laughs> um, action because there's action in it. And comedy because of the way the trailer ended. It was all dark. <laughs> because of the tense music in the background. Is it supposed to be a mainstream blockbuster type film or a smaller indie film? Um, it could be blockbuster, yeah. Blockbuster type of thing? Blo blockbuster. Yeah, I think so, because it seemed quite like high budget. Mainstream. I want to say smaller independent production. It feels more mainstream. What kind of cinema would you expect it to be shown in? So like big multiplex chain cinemas or like an independent one-off type screen? Um, probably quite mainstream. Just a single world and stuff. It's your typical Odeon cinema. <laughs> uh, just a normal like Odeon or whatever. Um, big. I would have thought independent one-off. Multiplex. Who do you think it's suitable for slash targeted at? Um, so like age, gender, tastes? Teenage girls, maybe up to like 25. Um, just kind of teens, mid-teens, late teens, maybe early 20s. Definitely girls because like there was like obviously big female roles in it. Um, I'd say like younger, so like teenage girls. Probably like teenagers because the whole kind of spy thing was quite big when they were that age. Maybe girls because there's quite a lot of like female empowerment and like, yeah. Teenagers to young adults. What gender? Both. Um, sort of just teens in general. What gender? Female. Teenagers, young adult. What gender? Male. Okay. Can you identify the characters that you've seen? Um, well, there was Delta. Well, there were three of them, but I remember Delta. <laughs> um, there was a security guard and three agents, one of which was called Delta. 
and then there was a Victor person who was running out of time. Well, there was obviously like the, the one that came in last was like the, the one in charge, and the other two were sort of like her muscle people. <laughs> um, the first one was called, the one that was going to be dead was called Delta. Mm -hmm. like she seemed like sort of more conscious, <laughs> and the second one was a bit more kind of dark and like, Ooh. and the last one was more like sassy. Delta. Um, another one, and another one, and a security guy. Um, there was Delta. Something we're gonna be this, and someone else, mm -hmm. and they they sort of just seem like it's sort of like a sisterly but professional relationship. That's about it. Three girls. I cannot remember their name. Describe what happens in the sequence. Um, well, one of the whip girls is injured, at least she pretends she is. And then one of the security guards, for wherever they are, comes to um, help her out and see what's happening. Mm -hmm. But then the other group member comes and attacks him. And then the third group member comes and they steal his security card and go into an unknown location. Um. Well, first, first the security guard's watching the security camera, uh, and then there's someone in the lift who is like on the floor struggling to stay up, and then stands up and walks outside and then falls over again. And then the security guard comes downstairs, checks her pulse, and then just says, she wouldn't be any trouble, which I thought was really mean. <laughs> it's like, there's a dead girl on the floor! <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, she, uh, uh, and then the security guard gets taken down by uh, by an assailant before uh, the three women all group together to open a door and mm. are shocked by something behind the door. Um, a security guard see sees an intruder come in and then the intruder um, appears to be half dead but then um, when he checks then another person comes in, hits him on the head and uh, knocks him out and then it turns out that the intruder was not half dead, but it was actually, yeah. And then that's it, really. Um, it's like a security guard at some sort of strange place because he's like, oh, they won't find out anything else. So it's all like secretive. And then he's like, oh, there's an intruder, and she looks injured. But then she isn't injured, and her friend comes and knocks him out. And they're going to go and find something out, but you don't find out what. They get the security guy out so they can kill him or not kill him, but get him unconscious and enter a room. This guy spots Delta coming out of a lift. She's like doing some weird thing to pretend that she's sort of dying. And then he gets taken out by the person who's beginning with S. <laughs> and then they all sort of get together, get ready to sort of go on to wherever it was through the door. Mm -hmm. And then something happens which stops them in their tracks. <laughs> They break into some place and knock out a guy and something happens. What do you think the film is actually about? So what kind of themes do you think? Um, it's probably a lot of good versus evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think computery something, because there was a couple of computers in there. You've got the hacking the car, open the door thing. Uh, and. Probably um, just action. It's just like some sort of espionage film, like spies and secret missions and violence. <laughs> um, revenge. From that, I would have thought it was sort of, I don't know, just two rival, like spy sort of cooperations. Like with the sort, with the sort of when they got stopped in their tracks, it made it seem like someone had gotten there first or mm -hmm. something like that. Do you think that the opening sequence works? So does it introduce the film successfully and the characters and the genre yeah, and the narrative? Yeah, and it's also quite funny. Yeah, I think so. It kind of shows that something's gone wrong and it shows what they do for a living-ish. Yeah, I do. Yeah, because you get a good idea of who they are and like it sort of introduces what sort of thing they're going to be doing and you get a good idea of what's sort of coming, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. I think so. It kind of engages the audience and it's interesting. What, in your opinion, works particularly well? Um, I think the whole narrative works well and also that comic element to add a bit more flavour. Uh, I thought that the 
bit at the start where he's kind of looking through the CCTV camera at the person getting up and going up the lift. I like the characters, like I like how they're introduced and it's quite obvious who they are. Um, I think the twists, because like the fact that she's not injured and then the fact that there's someone behind the door and it's all quite like, it keeps you on your toes. Um, how you know what's going on but you don't really know it yet so you have to watch it for a The fact that it's all done in sort of like a small space, okay. so it, ma it makes it just sort of feel like you're there. Uh, the action and a bit of humour to it as well. So what could be improved as well? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe a bit less harsh lighting, probably. I uh, know. I thought that it looked a bit kind of felt like weird at the end, where they're all looking through the door. I thought it was like they all kind of opened it, and there was like nothing on the other side. It, you couldn't really see. I just it annoyed me more than anything else. What that no, you couldn't see what was on it, the other side of the door? Yeah. Is it that you wanted to know what the other side of the probably. door? Was probably, probably. I side? just want to see the rest of the movie. <laughs> um, maybe a little less dialogue and like more action. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, like the clatteriness of it. Okay. Like the, like the sounds in the scene, not the music or anything, okay. but yeah. I think that it could be made clearer who the characters are okay. in their relationships. Would you want to watch the rest of the film based on what you've seen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. There was a massive cliff cliffhanger at the end. Yeah, I want to know what happens next. <laughs> yes. Probably I'll watch anything. Yeah. Can you rate the opening sequence out of ten? Oh God. Um, eight. 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 Zero. <laughs> 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 um, I'll give it a. I'll give it an eight. Nine. Nine. Okay, can I give it seven and a half? Seven point eight.